All right, so this video is gonna be all about withdrawing money from Shopify. So we're gonna run through how to set up Shopify payments, the different ways you can do that, how to withdraw money from Shopify once that's set up, and how long it typically takes to withdraw that money. And if you've got any other questions going into Shopify during this video, make sure to let me know in the comments below. All right, so thanks for watching Start Starting Up, all about selling online by building brands. Video is Monday, Thursday. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. But lots of people ask me this question, how do I withdraw cash from Shopify? How do I get my money? And I want to just start by saying, don't worry, it's super easy to get set up. No matter where you are in the world, you can get Shopify set up and get a payment plan in place and get the cash into your bank account super easy. So don't worry, we're going to run through that in this video. But to get this started, to get everything set up, you're going to need Shopify to start off with. So if you haven't already got Shopify, there's a link in the description below for a two week free trial so you can get your store up and running completely for free for two weeks, get your payment plan set up and start making sales and getting the cash into your account. But once you've got your Shopify account set up and your stores up and running, you're going to have to install a payment provider. This is a plugin that you add into your store that's going to process any payments that your customer makes. So it's going to allow your customer to come onto your store, add their credit card details, and for that payment to be processed and sent to you. So you can, there's a few different payment providers you can use on your store. You can use an official Shopify payments provider called Shopify Payments, and that's the official Shopify plugin to allow you to process credit cards and, and debit cards and other payments. Or you can use third-party providers like PayPal, Stripe, or as a ton of other providers. The thing here to know is Shopify Payments, so the official Shopify payment provider, only works in certain countries. So you can only use that if you're in those certain countries. But if you're outside of those countries, don't worry, there's a ton of third-party payment providers. So no matter where you are in the world, there's gonna be a way for you to set up payments in your Shopify store to receive payments from your customer and have that cash sent to your bank account. I'd say it's always better using the official Shopify payments provider because they have lower transaction fees. That's less of a cost they're gonna charge you to handle your payments. But Shopify payments only works in certain countries, as I said before. And if you're in a different country, you're gonna to have to use third party providers. And I've got a list of the countries that support Shopify payments here. So I'll read that out. It's um, the US, Canada, Puerto Rico, the UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore. So if you're in those countries, you can use Shopify payments in your store to process the customer's payments and send that money to you. But if you're outside of those countries, you're gonna have to use a third party provider, which is fine. You might have a little bit extra of a fee for each payment that's processed, but you're gonna have a way of receiving cash from your customers regardless. So how do you withdraw the money so, how do you withdraw your money from Shopify? We're gonna talk about that now. And like I said, there's over 70 different payment providers that all use different methods of getting the cash to you and processing that cash. But in this video, I'm gonna talk specifically about Shopify payments because I haven't got time to talk about all 70 providers. What you really need to know is some providers will send the money to you automatically. So you know, you set up the payment provider, you install it into Shopify, you put your bank details when you set it up, and then every day, that payment provider will process the sales that have happened that day and automatically send the money to your account. So some will do that, and others will require you to manually log onto their website and manually request a withdrawal. So that's the main thing you need to know before I go on to talk specifically about Shopify payments, is that some providers are automatic and some are manual. And depending on where you are in the world and which provider you end up having to use, you're gonna to have to look on that provider's website and see which method they use, if it's an automatic method or a manual. And that will tell you every day or and every time you get sales what steps you need to take to withdraw that money. But in this video, we're gonna speak specifically about Shopify payments which is an automatic provider. So every time you get sales from a customer, the money's gonna be automatically withdrawn and sent to your account. But we're gonna go on to talk about the amount of time it takes for that money to get withdrawn and sent to you, and a few other details in this video. And if you're not in one of those countries I mentioned earlier, and you need to use a third party provider, I'll link you to the Shopify payments like article on their website, so you can read more information and see a list of the third party providers and decide which one you're gonna use. So, as I said before, Shopify Payments is going to be the best provider you can use if you have the option. It's integrated right into the store. You don't have to set up 
an external merchant account on an external website, you know, like a PayPal account or any other accounts, when you build your Shopify store and you make your Shopify account using the two week free trial that I put in the description box, or if you've already got an account, whatever bank details you put in when you're setting up your Shopify account, that's what the Shopify payments provider will use to send money into your account. So you haven't got to do a second setup, it's all integrated in the initial Shopify setup that you do, the money is sent directly to that account. There's no second step hassle you have to worry about. Also, the payment provider is integrated into your Shopify store. This means that your customer doesn't have to leave your store to pay for their products. Some providers, I think PayPal might do this, if you've got a PayPal payment in your store, when the Shopify customer wants to pay, they get to the payment page of your store and they press pay with PayPal, they're actually sent off your store to a PayPal website to put their payment details in. And when the payment's processed, they're sent back to your store. We don't want this to happen, you know, people being sent off your store is a huge killer of the sale. They're gonna be like, why am I getting sent off the store? This, is, this feels weird and they won't buy your product. But if you use the Shopify payments provider, the gateway, and you embed it directly into your store, your customers can be able to make the whole transaction while staying on your store. So that's a huge benefit right there. So like I said, the payments are automatically transferred to your account using Shopify payments. It's integrated into your store so your customer doesn't have to leave your store. You don't have to set up a second account because it just uses your initial Shopify account details to send you the payment. And finally, you can check your payment schedule, your daily record of the payments you've received and been sent within Shopify in the payments area of Shopify. So you haven't got to leave your store and log into different websites to see how much money you're owed for that day. And as long as you've made over $1, one pound or one euro worth of sales, you're gonna get sent payments automatically every day. You've just gotta pass that one dollar euro pound threshold to be auto sent your cash. So there's no need to manually withdraw your payments. All right, so I'm gonna finish this video off with how long it takes to that money to be sent to your account. It changes depending on what country you are in the world. Whether you're in the US, England, New Zealand, it's gonna take a different amount of days from that customer making the payment on your store to the money landing in your personal bank account. Now I can't remember all the days off the top of my head, so I'm gonna to have to read this off, but I've got here how long it takes for each country to receive the money. So if you're in the US, you should receive your payment into your bank account in two business days. If you're in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, it's gonna take three days. Uh, if you're in Singapore, the United Kingdom and Ireland, it's going to take four days. So depending on where your bank account is in the world, it's going to take a different amount of days for you to receive the payment. But the great thing is Shopify processes payments every day, so it looks at the last day's order and, set, and starts to process that um, every day. So. You know, it's gonna take two to four days to receive your first ever payment. But if you're making sales every day, after that initial two, three, four day threshold, you should then receive money in your account every day. It just takes a few days to process, but it actually starts processing the payments every 24 hours. So it's gonna be a constant stream of income for you. Now, sometimes Shopify extends that period to 30 days. It only processes your sales every 30 days, but that's only if you're selling very specific products. So products that are kind of high risk, for extra security measures, it can only process that every 30 days. And there's a list, no actually, Shopify will inform you if that's gonna be the case. It will sort of look at the products you're selling and send you a communication saying this is gonna be a 30 day situation rather than a daily situation. So you'll know one in advance if that's gonna to apply to you. But I've never had that problem before and I've, I've I think it's quite rare for that to be the case. It has to be quite a select, small niche of products that you're selling for Shopify to put that security method in place. But generally, it's gonna be every day that Shopify starts processing your payments and automatically sends the money to your account without you having to do a withdrawal at all. Now, sometimes in the payment area of Shopify, it's gonna say that you've been paid your money for that day, but the money's not gonna be in your account. And that's because Shopify actually processes your payments every day of the week but banks will only actually transfer the funds into your account on a business day. So sometimes over the weekends when there's like an a overlap with the weekend when Shopify's processing your stuff, but it, you know, and it gets sent to your account, 
Shopify has done everything it can do. It's on its side and it's sent the money to your account, but it's just waiting on your bank to actually put the money in your account. The bank's sort of holding it until the next business day where it can process that and put it into your account. So don't worry if you see paid in Shopify, but it's not in your account. It's just because it's not a business day. Your bank's not operating, so you're not receiving the money in your account, but it will arrive in your account on the next business day. And you're, sometimes you're gonna see the failed status in the payments area of Shopify payments. And this basically means Shopify I haven't been able to put the money in your account. And it's usually because you've put incorrect bank details in to your account settings when you set up Shopify and set up your account. So what you have to do here is go into the account area of Shopify and fix your payment details and then Shopify will resend the money that you're owed. You know, you haven't lost that money forever, it's just waiting for you to correct your bank details and Shopify is gonna correct that for you. So it's super simple to get all of this stuff up and running and start receiving the money your customers are paying you. Great, so that's it really. I think I've covered everything I can with Shopify payments. If I haven't, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you're having to use a third party provider or you've had a different experience of this, then let the community know as well in the comments box. But long story short, it's super easy to get all of this stuff set up, to get a payment provider set up on Shopify and to receive your money. You know, sometimes it's gonna be automatically sent to you. Sometimes you'll have to manually withdraw it. You just need to discuss you just need to find out what the situation is with the specific provider you use. You know, I can't talk about every single provider in this video, but if you've had any complications, let us know in the comments box below and we'll try and fix that. But like I said, anyone can do this as a two week free trial for Shopify. Anyone can get it set up and like have everything in place to receive the money to your account. So don't get worried about all of that stuff. It's super simple. There's a huge documentation on the Shopify website, which I'll link to below the Shopify payments up documentation. So you can read everything you need there. If I've missed anything off and learn what you need to do. But thanks for watching everyone. As always, this is Start Starting Up, where it's all about standing online, building brands, videos every Monday, Thursday. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you very soon.